Let me tell you the only thing you need to know to be an entrepreneur is how to fucking manage your emotions. That's it, period. You can learn any strategy. You can learn marketing. You can learn podcasting. You can learn fucking styling. You can learn QuickBooks, blah, 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 funnels, fucking selling, client attraction. But if you do not know how to handle your emotions, you're dead in the water. We just learn to really put ourselves first and that journey never ends. And at the end of the day, like I said, the number one thing I learned was around handling my emotions, which ultimately comes down to my self-worth. What's up, Style Nation? Welcome back to the Style for Life show. It's Katie, your favorite podcast and personal stylist. Well, your favorite podcaster and personal stylist here for another fucking monthly lifestyle roundup. I don't know why I had to throw the F-bomb in there, but it needed it. So I'm super excited, as always. I know I say that before every show, but I love the monthly roundup episode because I love tapping in to a new month, getting the energy. It's kind of like a love-hate, but when the first falls on a Monday and you drop your podcast on Monday, you put your heels in and you do the goddamn monthly roundup thing. So I'm really excited. And this month, my Mondays lined up really good for my podcast with some of my special guests. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But this is and always has been my favorite show because it's about lifestyle. And that is why I named the show Styled for Life, right? Because yes, I love to talk about style. Yes, I'm a stylist. Yes, I think it's energetic tool that we have access to every single day. But I always love to share the things that I'm using and that I'm loving. Like it was my favorite thing around, I guess before I had kids and got married. (laughs) It was just my favorite thing around female friendships that I had my whole life is that we would always share like our tips, our hacks, the things that we do to just like stay inspired, to make things easier, to feel good, right? Like I remember getting dressed with my friends in high school. Like for, I even, it's funny, I even remember getting dressed for my husband now, right? For his first birthday that him and I knew each other with one of my best friends. And I even can remember the outfit we put together. And it was like, I just needed her to be there with me to help me put together this outfit. And that's what I think of when I think of this roundup episode is we're going to just dive in and we're just going to share all the things that we can expect this month. And we're just going to talk and we're going to share what's working and what's not working and what we're struggling with and how we think we're going to fix it and just what we've been thinking about. So that's why I love this episode and that's my intention behind it. So if you haven't, you have to go listen to last week's episode. I redid my Sync Your Style with Your Cycle episode and talked about how you can use your cycle as a way to tap into your style and what you can experiment with, what you can expect during different phases. And like, don't forget... It's just a roadmap. It's just a guideline. Everyone experiences their period radically different at different times. It's just something to think about. And some people don't even have cycles or aren't even on that journey. It's just we all experience very similar emotions on our daily lives, regardless if it's with our cycles or just what is going on in our lives. So it's just a fun episode of just dropping some nuggets, some insights of like when to experiment, how to experiment with clothes, when to clean out your closet and get rid of shit, and what you should be wearing when you're on your period if you are someone who's cycling. So go check that out, last week's episode, and my um, downloadable style guide that's available on my website is the perfect companion because It is my style guide for syncing with your cycle. It's 18 pages. It's super juicy. I know it sounds like a lot, but there's space in there for journaling. So I put like little journal prompts to help you like reconnect with your style so you can reclaim those pieces of you. I've got links to my favorite lipsticks in there and how they match up to my moods and where I'm at. So you can shop those and support the show. And there's lots of fun did you knows and just fun, juicy stuff. So go download that and check it out. katiejuststyled.com backslash freebie. So it's August and I don't know how I feel about that because on one hand, I feel like I was wishing away the summer because my vacation was this week. And then on another hand, I feel like, fuck, 
by July, the summer already felt like it was almost over because Target had their shit up, their back to school stuff. And honestly, time moves so quick, but summer is hands down my favorite, favorite season of the year. So August is very bittersweet for me because I know it means we're heading down and school's about to start, which I love. <laughs> kind of can't wait to get back into a normal routine and get my bedroom back to myself. Damn, my kids be trying to stay up late watching TV in my room. And I love the energy of September. I love, love, love. September is always a new new year for me. It's always the real new year for me. I mean, I always make my biggest decisions and feel the most committed to life in September. It's when I decided to have both of my kids was heading into September. I don't know. I guess it's cuffing season too, so that probably makes sense. But <laughs> anyways, um, yeah. So August. It's August. It's August. What can you expect on the pod this month? So I have two amazing guests this month, as always. I have Katarina Rando. So she is the bliss creator. So she is the founder of Thriving Women and Business. And we talk a lot about creating bliss in your business in this episode. But honestly, what I've realized, and I know you've heard me say this before, your business, if we're talking about your business, we're talking about your life. So any of my people who are listening, who are like, this is not, like, I'm not a business owner, I promise you, I promise you that the things we talk about when we talk about our business relate to your life. If I have learned not one thing from being an entrepreneur, let me tell you the only thing you need to know to be an entrepreneur is how to fucking manage your emotions. That's it, period. You can learn any strategy. You can learn marketing. You can learn podcasting. You can learn fucking styling. You can learn QuickBooks, blah, 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 funnels, fucking selling, client attraction. But if you do not know how to handle your emotions, you're dead in the water. So yes, she focuses on business, but it's really about creating bliss in your life as well. Super fun episode. She shares an amazing story around how a Donna Karen skirt changed her life. So you know I was hot on that. And as part of our connection, I did meet her through a stylist community um, that I'm a part of. So stay tuned for that episode next week. And big, big news. My very first podcast friend ever. When I launched my podcast, someone that just like open armed and was like, welcome to podcasting, women who podcast, woot woot. My friend Mae Wagner, known on the gram as Rainy Day and May, is launching her brand new book. So she is on the show. 8 22 is the day her book is released. It's a Monday. So she is my guest on the show that week. But make sure you go pre order your book because it's going to be amazing. I'm so proud of her. The book is called Girls, Assassins, and Other Bad Ideas. She is so magical and she's on the show sharing her intention behind the book. It's really around her healing journey and how we just learn to really put ourselves first and that journey never ends. And at the end of the day, like I said, the number one thing I learned was around hand my, handling my emotions, which ultimately comes down to my self-worth and how worthy I feel like I am on a day-to-day -day basis. Super hot episode 822-22. Her book comes out. You can get it wherever books are sold. So that's definitely on my monthly roundup as one of my obsessed items that I'm loving this month. And it's a really personal, personal vulnerable story that I think well below your mind. And her Instagram is awesome. So it's August. And what are we up to? What are we thinking about? What are we celebrating? Well, for one, if you've been listening to the show, July was all around confidence. And at the end of the day, I think it's still around confidence. I think it's confidence always. I think I have been fighting the word confidence because it sounds so cliche and it sounds like, well, everyone's confidence, right? That's what we're all doing. We're inspiring each other to be more confident. But to me, that's just a really big part of the self-worth game is like I got to constantly be building that muscle. And if confidence is a muscle, I got to work it out every day, just like I got to hydrate and meditate and journal and work out every day, right? It's the simple things that we have to do that are important 
So it's always confidence. And that's the theme. So thinking about that and being confident to me, and I said this last month, is really around celebrating ourselves and sharing our wins and sharing what we're working on. So a couple of things that I wanted to share with you guys is for wins and shares are I have put together this new offer and this new way of doing business with my clients that is fucking rocking my world because it's rocking their world. And it's really it's really into the confidence, right? It is helping my clients create clothes. I mean, excuse me, <laughs> create outfits with clothes they already have. So I just launched this brand new offer called Stylist on Call, where I am helping women create 25 plus outfits with clothes that are in their closet. Why is this confidence boosting? Because these are all clothes that they already had that they already picked. And I hear thousand times where people are like, I just want to burn my closet to the ground. I don't have anything good. Yes, you do. We just need to sit down, put some time into it and create some new fun combinations that you haven't thought of before where someone like me is valuable, right? Like this is sustainability, right? Because we are using clothes you already have. You're not shopping for a bunch of new stuff. If you are shopping, we're shopping on gaps that you have that are super intentional, right? And that's just really changed the game for me. And it's just been a, such a big win for me because when I first started the business, closet edits were always my favorite. We would do closet edits, but I wasn't, I didn't have the tools yet to really, really maximize it until I started using this new um, app that I've been using where women can upload their own clothes, snap a picture, no matter if you have Android or Apple, snap pictures of your clothes, you upload it in and we can literally create lookbooks with clothes you have full outfits and it's like I always think of Clueless when she's like flipping through her um lookbooks but they're all like printed out in the closet and things like that so this is the digital version of that it's super amazing so that's been my big win that was my big win in July is that I launched that and I executed that with clients and it's fucking working and that's amazing and you've probably seen in my Instagram stories where I've been sharing like all the wins people are like oh my god I went to a concert and I just went in my lookbook and picked out an outfit and like look at me and now that woman is feeling amazing and that's fucking powerful and that's why we're here that's why we're showing up every day so make sure you celebrate yourself so you have that evidence of why you need to continue to show up other thing I want to celebrate and call out is I was invited to be on my friend's um video podcast series called unexpected healers and it was funny like we've been connected for a while but she found me through another podcast I did and was like oh my god I think you're totally an unexpected healer I was listening to you talk and I just never thought about using clothes as a tool to tap into our energy. And I felt like really seen for the first time where someone reached out to me and said this instead of me like pitching and saying like, hey, we should do this. I think this would be a great fit for your show. Have you ever thought about that? So that's a big win um, that we're thinking about, that we're celebrating. And other big ones that we're experiencing in the business that I actually am going to do a show on this month in August is letting go of the numbers, letting go of the numbers that are attached to your clothes, that are attached to your driver's license, meaning your age, and that are attached to the scale. I know the numbers don't lie, but they also mean nothing. They only mean what you make them mean. So whether it's your bank account, whether it's the size of your jeans, whether it's the scale, whether it's your age, three of those, well, almost all of those come up for me and my business um, with my clients all the time. And I've had some really big breakthroughs on that. So I'm going to do an episode on that this month as well. So you can look out for that. So speaking of like the theme for the month being confidence, last month for July, if you haven't listened, you should go back and listen. It was like a fucking hour long deep dive into confidence and what confidence really, really meant for me and just kind of like peeling back the layers, right? So in the spirit of sharing and being inspirational and sharing sleepover secrets, like I started out the podcast with this being one of my favorite episodes because we're just brain dumping things that are going to make your life better for the month of August as we transition and check off put another month in the book and start a new one, right? I 
just got Denise um, Duffield Thomas's new book, Chill and Prosper. I've read all her books. Well, actually, I never read the first version of this, The Chillpreneur or whatever. And again, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So how you do business is how you do life. So don't underestimate business books for anyone who's listening that doesn't run a business. They have really good fucking advice in there because it's really around mindset. But I'm loving her book because it's easy to read. The content's just really digestible. She's been doing it for a long time, so she knows exactly what she's doing, in my opinion. But there was a couple of quotes, and I'm going to call them mantras now, that I'm going to have on repeat that are really, really going to help me. And that's something that I've noticed when I think about confidence And it's funny that last week's episode was on syncing with your cycle because there's points in my cycle where I know my confidence is like in the gutter, period, right? And I have to be super, super conscious of that because if not, I just start making bad decisions. I don't take action. I just don't do the things that ultimately are going to get me where I want to go, right? So I've really been leaning into quotes and sayings to get me through those moments, those days, to keep on repeat in hopes that, you know, I can literally start to rewire my feelings and change my fucking habits. So she had a couple of quotes or quote lessons from the book that I wanted to share in this spirit of continuing this conversation on confidence for August and helping us live our best lives and stepping into that big bitch energy Someone messaged me the other day and was like, oh yeah, BB, BBE. And I was like, you know, I haven't talked about big bitch energy on a show in a while. So, you know, we got to reclaim our big bitch energy. Big meaning the biggest versions of ourselves, meaning we're not playing small. I like bitch because it's the alliteration with the B and I like to reclaim words and, you know, just like my cussy words. So, and I also like to reclaim it, which is so funny because I was just talking to a client. And she was like, you know, I'm doing this speaking and I want to be powerful and I want to be approachable and I want to be like, hi, I'm a nice bitch, <laughs> right? Like like joking because so many people have used that word for so long to mean certain things. And I love when women take it back. So for me, that big bitch energy stepping into that. So a couple of quotes that I wrote down and like where they pop up for me and how I'm using them to build my confidence muscle is one I just posted on my stories last week, the week before, around, for me, around that self-doubt. So when my feelings are in the gutter and I'm like, ah, this is trash. I have nothing to talk about. No one cares about my podcast. Why should I show up on social media? It's dumb. No one cares. Blah, blah, blah. Is her lesson out of the book was, people want your magic, not your perfection. Mm, I'm going to say it again. People want your magic, not your perfection. Woo-wee. That is the most powerful thing. That has literally got me through days, the last couple of days, (laughs) when I was really doubting myself. And I'm like, oh my God, it's not perfect. I don't know what I'm doing. The only, and it's never going to be perfect. Okay, I know that. I don't even think I'm a perfectionist so much as, oh God, maybe I am and I don't think I am. I don't even know right? Self-awareness can be tricky, but I do feel it more and more in my business. I just don't want to look dumb, right? I just want to look dumb, but it's not that. If I just show up, for me, the my biggest draw to podcasting and being so open and vulnerable is that I'm just figuring out as I go and sharing it as I figure out as I go. So why do I have to always be worried about looking dumb? Because I don't think anyone thinks you look dumb if you're fucking doing it and taking action. Like, how can we say that someone looks dumb if they're actually going after their goals? That's dumb, right? And then we'll just stop saying that word. Um, So people want your magic, not your perfection. So if there's something that you're sitting on that you're scared to do, Remember that when you're like, oh, I can't go on Instagram live. I can never do a podcast. I can never do that speaking event. I can never go to a networking event. I can never do that. I can never start a podcast. People want your magic, not your perfection, right? They don't care if you have a cool intro or outro music or whatever makes podcasts cool. I don't even fucking know. I don't even have an intro for my podcast. Never have, probably never will. You know, they want your magic, not your perfection. And then this other one, like I literally wrote all of these down. I'm going to hang them right on top of a lipstick print right in front of me in the closet. 
Now, this one for me is my hustle culture. My need to feel like I'm not good enough unless I'm pounding things out and things are really, really fucking hard. And I do this all the time. And I have to reel myself in when I'm putting outfits together of people. I have to think, okay, Katie, there's not that many different things that we can do. There is and there isn't. There's a thousand ways to wear something. But at the end of the day, either we're wearing pants and a shirt a shirt and a shirt, skirt and a shirt, or a dress, <laughs> right? There's let it be simple. And you guys know nothing's fucking hotter to me than a cute ass pair of jeans and a t-shirt. I love that shit. I will rock the fucking shit out of it. And it's okay. Let it be simple. So this quote was from Amelia Barr. And let's pause because you're going to need to write this one down. So stop driving. No, I'm joking. Save it for later. Mark it. We're about 20 minutes in. It's always the simple that produces the marvelous. It's always the simple that produces the marvelous. Mm-mm-mm. So think about that. The next thing time you're overcomplicating something. I do that all the time with food. I do that all the time with my business. I love to organize my organization. Let it be easy. Now that's a mantra I've had on fucking repeat for years. I know you've heard me talk about that on the podcast. Let it be easy. But I like this one even better because let it be easy. Sometimes I'm just like, ah, that's not enough. Right. Which is exactly what this quote saying. It's always the simple that produces the marvelous. Now, this one that I'm going to share with you is just funny as shit. Well, the next two to me are funny, right? So this next one, I feel like this summer, speaking of confidence, the word boundaries comes up. Dun, dun, dun. A word I hated for a long time. I still might because, I don't know, this is a whole slippery slope. Again, July's lifestyle edit roundup, (laughs) super deep, and I just don't want to recreate it, but the energy's the same. Boundaries is a word that has come up for me um, that I've definitely been tested on this summer. So none of these concepts, I can't show up here each month and be like, oh, this month is boundaries. This month is confidence. Because I'm forever working on all of these. They just ebb and flow and they show up differently. So I thought this quote was funny. So the next time you feel like you're having a boundary issue and someone's pushing you and you don't really want to do it and maybe you feel pissed off about it, sometimes I just need something funny to move me to the next thing. I thought this was funny. You might not. It's a Joan Rivers quote. If God wanted you to bend over, he would have put diamonds on the floor. (laughs) So the next time you think you're bending over backwards for someone and you know you're letting up on a boundary, just think to yourself and giggle. If God wanted me to bend over, universe, insert, whatever, she, he would have put diamonds on the floor. Like that shit just made me laugh out loud because I was like, yes. And then I can just, like, picture, like, Joan Rivers saying that. So, like, I love it. Anyways, last but not least, I'm going to quote you up on this one because these are some goodies. And this shit is funny as fuck to me. Okay, last quote, I promise. Wherever you go, (laughs) there you are. (laughs) So, like I said, if you can't handle your emotions, you can't handle your business because wherever you go, you are bringing your own shit with you, right? This is the funniest fucking one to me. And this is actually a Confucius quote. Wherever you go, there you are. Because you're not going to change, right? So for me, it's like, oh, things will be better if I get a new car, which I don't even want a new car. So I don't even know that it popped up. Things will be better when I get my closet done. Things will be better when my husband becomes an entrepreneur. Things will be better when my fucking hot water. That will be better though. Things will be better when constantly, but it's not if I'm not doing the work right? It's not because I'm still the same fucking person. I'm still the person who's overeating sugar to manage my emotions. If that's the goal that I want to move away from or the habit that I want to get out of getting fucking closet with lipstick wallpaper, isn't making me stopping doing that, right? It's just not. So I think that quote is funny as shit. So I'm going to read those for you again and just think about, you know, which one resonates with you today. People want your magic, not your perfection. That's a lesson from Denise Duffield Thomas's book. It's always the simple that produces the marvelous. Can I get an amen? Amelia Barr quotes. Next, if God wanted you to pick up, sorry, if God wanted you to bend over, he would have put diamonds on the floor. 
another amen. Say it louder for the people in the back. And then last but not least, wherever you go, there you are. It's all about building that muscle and doing the things that maybe we don't want to do that we know we need to do. So needless to say, on my obsessed list for this month is this new book by Denise called Chill and Prosper. And of course, my girl Mae Wagner's new book, Girls, Assassins, and Other Bad Ideas. That'll be dropping on 8-22-22. And I love that, don't you? I told you she's magical. And the other thing that's on my obsessed list that has come up quite a few times for me and clients this summer, especially those of us that live, which I think all of us live somewhere hot right now, that I'm talking to on a regular basis is my thigh glide. So we've all been struggling with finding shorts, which I think we've got that one nailed down, ladies. If you don't have your shorts for the summer nailed down, reach out to me. We can get you styled. There's still time for the summer and especially for my West Coast babes. Some of you that live in the desert, you're going to be wearing shorts for months to come. My East Coasters too, but you got to get you some thigh glide, right? So that is funny, but a lot of people have asked me for that, but there's no shame in the game, man. I got, I use a mega babe thigh glide from Target. I rub it right on those thighs. It's kind of like deodorant for my thighs and they just don't rub together. And I love that. My other trick though, for rubbing thighs is if I wear a skirt or a dress, I will wear boxer, I mean, not boxers for fuck's sakes. I will wear bike shorts underneath that are long that so my thighs don't run together. And also, like, it gets a little windy out here sometimes. It's about to fucking pour and rain its ass off right now here where I live. And if my skirt blows up, I don't got to worry about it because I got my boxer shorts. God damn, my boxers, my biker shorts on. I don't even own a pair of boxer shorts. So I don't know why I keep saying that. So that's what's on my obsessed list for August in case you need recommendations, especially book recommendations. You guys know I love some books. And I also love my fiction books too. I subscribe to Book of the Month Club or whatever the fuck it's called. Love it. Love it. Couldn't if take away all my subscriptions. You ain't taking away that one. And if you're looking for a hot style tip, you need to go back and listen to my episode, two episodes back with my style mentor, Kim Apodaca. We talked about this in detail, but her number one style tip and the number one mistake we're making is thinking that we have to fit into some kind of box or mold when we're getting dressed every day. And we don't. Every day is allowed to be different. We have many, many sides to us. We have many, many versions of us. And those pieces of us are allowed to be expressed through our style daily. You can listen to her episode with me two episodes back or my last episode where I talked about syncing your style with your mood. So many juicy tips on how to do that. Or you go download the um, style guide on syncing with your cycle and your style katiejuststyled.com backslash freebie. And of course, um, if you want more style tips, I would say follow me on Insta, but I feel like I've been pouring more into my email. If you want to follow along on Insta, because my stories are pretty great and funny, Kitty Allen stylist on there. But if you do want to hop on the email list, when you download that free gift, the style guide, it will automatically put you on my email list. And that is where I am consistently showing up with style tips, where to shop, what to shop, all the things, telling stories, reminding you of how to get in touch and access for the pods so you never miss one. And stay tuned. I am going to start a blog on the website. So all of these style tips and products that I'm recommending and these things that I'm obsessed with and these sleepover secrets that I'm sharing on the podcast can actually have a place to live. So right now, if you go to my website, my blog is just the podcast, but I'm also going to create a second one to share the, the nitty gritty details of all of this. So I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed this monthly's roundup of August's lifestyle edit. I hope you get to take away some of these sleepover secrets that we're sharing amongst us friends, Style Nation here, and reach out and let me know 
If there's something that you're looking for, a different topic that you want on the podcast, something you need help with, of course, if you want to book in for this fall, eep, I know it's only August, but if you're looking to book in this fall to reclaim your style or um, tap into the stylist on call package, hit me up, Katie just styled dot com backslash contact schedule just a free connection call it's no pressure right i don't want you to work with me if you don't want to work with me but if you just have some questions and you want to know more and you're just interested to see if it's a good fit schedule a call i don't bite you know me podcasters are your like your bff you know more about me than fucking half my family (laughs) so go over there schedule a connection call today and let's see if we can get you styled katie JustDialed.com backslash contact. And I will see you on the other side. Peace.